Hi, welcome to this ODIS how-to video. In this short video I'm going to show you how to view measured values using the Guide of Functions menu. If you're unsure how to get to this screen, make sure you check out our other videos. For this example, I'll read measured values from the onboard power supply, address 09. You'll see here that when I click on 09, the border of the control unit is displayed in grey. If this happens, it means that ODIS has yet to communicate with the control unit. Next, we need to right click on the control unit. Select Identify Control Unit. Now, wait a few seconds while ODIS identifies the control unit. This is identified by the border going black. You can also see what's happening by monitoring the bottom left hand of the screen. There we go, it's finished. As soon as the control unit has a black border, if we right click on it again, we'll see a full list of options. So I now select Guided Functions. Here's a list of the Guided Functions available for the onboard power supply. I'll select Read Measured Values. Click Execute. This screen simply explains what's about to happen. Select Done. This menu provides a list of entire measured values on the left and a list of my selected values on the right. Select a measured value of your choice by clicking on it. Add your value to the selections list by clicking on the right arrow. Select multiple measured values by holding down the shift key. Once you've selected all your values for reading, click OK. So the measured values are displayed, but these are frozen until we press the Start Updating button. When you finish reading the values, press Stop. The two additional buttons here allow you to view descriptions of the measured values or to add the measured values to a test plan. Here's a summary of your measured values. Finally, we return to the original view. That's it. If you'd like to see any more demonstrations, check out the other videos.